Hey, what's going on guys? Goose here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use the OSD function on the B-Brain Lite flight controller. For those of you who don't know about OSD, OSD stands for on-screen display. It shows information on your screen while you're flying, like your battery voltage, your flight telemetry, the time you're flying, the time you're armed. You can set a whole bunch of different things for it. The B-Brain Lite does support full Betaflight OSD, so you get all the great functions of the normal bigger quads, but in a smaller package. On top of showing important flight information, like your voltage and everything else we covered before, you can also do things such as change your VTX channel, change your VTX band, change your VTX power, even adjust your PIDs and rates. So the first thing we'll do is power on our B-Brain Lite, plug in your goggles, and turn on our radio. To access your OSD menu, simply take your throttle stick and move it up to the center, and at the same time, move the throttle stick to the left and your pitch forward at the same time. To navigate through the OSD menu, simply use your right stick to go down or up, and then when you want to select something, just move to the right. Some of the things you can adjust in the OSD menu are your PIDs and rates. For that, you can go to Profile, scroll down to PID, and here you can change all the values for your PIDs. I'm going to scroll all the way down and select back. We can go down to rates to change all the rates. Scroll down to back. And we can even change our rate profiles or our PID profiles that you've set up in Betaflight. To adjust your VTX settings, scroll down and go to features. Down again to VTX. And here you can change the band. I'm going to go back to Boscam A since that's what I use. And then your channel down here. I'm going to go back to one, and then as well as adjust your power setting. To go back, scroll down to back, select back again, scroll down, select back again, and anytime you make changes to your VTX, you'll want to scroll down and hit save and reboot to make sure you get those changes oh, saved. Lost. So that's it guys, pretty simple and easy to change any things in the OSD that you want on the fly. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.